All right, it's kind of a rainy, misty day here. We're driving on FSD Beta 8.1, which is, uh, we got renamed, it was 10.1. Um, the reason that occurred, if you were uh, following along on Twitter, uh, was basically, uh, I think back in November or early December, Okay, we need to be left for you for this car here. So uh, I'll report that. It's um, we've gone back and forth on whether the car actually stays to the left on this road, um, and I've given feedback on that. But so as far as the yeah beta renumbering, um, sometime back in November or early December, uh, Elon tweeted uh, about uh, beta five, I believe, and so. Uh, us beta testers just kind of took it from there. Uh, every time we got a software update, we added one to that, n plus one, and got us up to uh, 10. And then uh, we got a, a 10.1 update. And then that same day is when uh, Elon tweeted that we were on 8.1. And basically what happened from there till today is that the uh, FSD beta team let us know that yeah we kind of made that numbering scheme yet uh, the beta team had their own internal numbering scheme so basically you know the, the version numbering of the year week kind of thing is still there but uh, FSD beta 8.1 is where we're back where we're at and that is now aligning uh, the internal Tesla team with what we're calling it and hopefully from now on uh, that'll prevent any from any confusion. Nice. It actually went in like it was supposed to. That was good. Nice. Let's try it uh, another three quarters around from the other direction. That was the smoothest it's done that so far ever. That was not quite as smooth, but it did it again. I'm gonna cancel this. Not bad. Definite improvements. Uh, nicely, nicely slowing for a speed bump. Very good. Another really nice slowdown. That was good. Back to the Hose Road, as it's found out that it's pronounced. Here we have a right turn and then a quick left turn to get into the turning lane. Oh, nice. With the left turn, 
that was the best that's done that yet. So <laughs> definite improvement there. I like it. Okay, now I need to come off autopilot and go to the next destination, which I think is here. Yep, all right. So if you remember, if you saw my other video, I'll put the link up at the top here. Um, I found this road by accident because of a turn that FSD Beta made by accident. I found it to be a good road because uh, so far, it's an edge case that literally hasn't been fixed. The, uh, there's no, there's, I'm going to slow down the speed to 35. It, it says 15 for this curve. So you know what? Let me, let me give it, that's not a, okay. So there's no white line over there and the car gets to me too close to that edge, uh, to, to be comfortable. Okay. This is the first time I've let it, that it's worked. Uh, I, I think maybe it's a little bit slower than in the past, but Wow, okay, good, that's that's a good improvement. I'm gonna, I might come back and try a little bit faster, but that is the first time, so that, see, see, okay, that's the first time it's done it without me disengaging because I thought it was too close to the edge. Maybe the speed makes a difference, and here's a thing where, um, I'll probably write to the team is is that the, right now the advisory speed limits, which are yellow, they're not really limits, they're advisory speeds for off ramps. Oh, this is a. Oh, all right. So there was a, a stick in the street. I didn't mind running it over. I was kind of curious to see if it was going to avoid it or not. Uh, I wasn't looking at the screen. There probably was a green dot there showing that it was there debris but it didn't move uh, so so yeah obviously okay we got a person up here walking their dog in the street let's see how it responds to that should hopefully get left and it is very nice very nice okay good that was good and now uh, this turn it used to have trouble. There's a, it's a two-way stop. So depending on traffic, it can be difficult. Uh, it used to have trouble getting into the left lane, but this time I'm gonna have it try to get across and take a right. I'm not sure if I've ever actually done that before. So there's the cross traffic does not stop, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna note that because Andrew Carpath, Andre Carpathy on Twitter said that just hitting the button on interesting situations would uh, would help them greatly. So, okay, it didn't go over as far as it needed to, but that's what the disengagements are for. All right. Okay, so I manually am driving off route to get it to reroute and take the hose road curvy steep road backwards um, we did it the first time on beta 10 uh, now 10.1 8.1 uh, this week and it's a different day but so technically we're on 8.1 uh, but it's basically the same here we go and uh, we'll be doing it the opposite direction
Still a nice 10 miles below what's set to get through the curves and now back up to the speed limit. And even though driving that direction is not as difficult as going the other way, uh, this intersection has always been a little bit of a challenge because we take a right turn and then immediate left, have to get into the left turn lane. And I'm not quite sure it's ever done this successfully. Right turn on red, waiting and going. It's got to commit and get into that left lane. And it's did it. Nice. And it's 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 putting on the blinker and immediately getting into the lane, which is solid, really nice.